English Easy Practice. Do you want to learn English vocabulary faster? Want to have better listening comprehension and pronunciation? And boost your speaking skills quickly? Then, welcome to our new video to improve your English skills. In this video, we'll dive into a fun and interactive learning experience designed to improve your English speaking skills. Now, we will have a four-part exercise. Part 1. Listening Practice Part 2. Vocabulary Part 3. Listen and Answer Practice Part 4. Shadowing Practice now, are you ready to train your brain to speak English fluently? Let's get started. Part 1 English Listening Practice In the first part, you'll listen to a conversation between native English speakers. Try to focus on the meaning of the conversation when you listen to it. This will help you understand real-life conversations better. Household Chores Hey Mark, Mom's been pretty busy lately. Do you think we should help her out with some household chores? Yeah, that's a good idea. What chores do you think we should do? Well, I can clean up the living room and vacuum the carpet. You can help by sweeping the floors in the kitchen and dining area. Sounds fair. After that, we can wash the dishes together. Mom always appreciates it when the kitchen is clean. Absolutely, and don't forget to water the plants. They look a bit thirsty. Got it. I'll take care of that. Oh, and we need to make the bed and change the sheets in our room, too. Right, I'll do that. How about we split the other chores? I'll cook dinner tonight if you help me with cutting the vegetables. Deal. I'll also take out the trash and feed the cat before dinner. Perfect. After dinner, I'll do the laundry and you can iron the clothes while watching TV. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and since it's fall, we should also rake the leaves in the backyard. Good thinking. We'll do that together tomorrow afternoon. Mom will be so happy to see everything done when she comes back from work. Definitely. Teamwork makes the chores easier and faster. Couldn't agree more. Let's get started and make Mom proud. Let's do it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future. Part 2. Learn Vocabulary Now, let's explore some new words together in our vocabulary section. I'll explain a few words and use them in example sentences to help you grasp their meaning easily. Vocabulary Household Chores Tasks or activities involved in maintaining a clean and organized home. Example Mark and sister divided the household chores between them to help their mother. 
Clean up. To tidy and remove mess or clutter from an area. Example. After the party, they had to clean up the living room and put everything back in its place. Vacuum the carpets. To use a vacuum cleaner to remove dust and dirt from carpets or rugs. Example. She vacuumed the carpets every Saturday morning to keep them clean. Sweeping the floors. To use a broom or sweeper to remove dust, dirt, and debris from floors. Example. Mark volunteered to help with sweeping the floors in the kitchen after breakfast. Wash the dishes. To clean plates, glasses, utensils, and cookware used for eating and cooking. Example. After dinner, they took turns washing the dishes and drying them. Water the plants. To give plants the necessary amount of water to keep them healthy. Example, she forgot to water the plants last week, so they looked a bit wilted. Make the bed. To arrange the sheets, blankets, and pillows neatly on a bed. Example, it's important to make the bed every morning to start the day off with a tidy room. Change the sheets. To replace the bed sheets with fresh, clean ones. Example. Sarah changed the sheets on the bed every two weeks to keep it fresh and comfortable. Take out the trash. To remove garbage or waste from a home and dispose of it properly. Example, he reminded his brother to take out the trash before it started smelling. Do the laundry. To wash, dry, and fold clothes, towels, and linens. Example, she did the laundry on Sunday afternoon to have clean clothes for the upcoming week. Iron the clothes. To use a heated iron to remove wrinkles and creases from clothes. Example, she ironed the clothes before the party to make sure they look neat and presentable. Rake the leaves. To use a rake to gather fallen leaves into a pile for disposal. Example, they spent the afternoon raking the leaves in the yard to prepare for winter. What other household chores vocabulary do you know in English? Write about the household chores you do in your daily life in the comments section below. Part 3 Listen and answer practice. Time for some interactive practice. Listen carefully to the questions I ask about the conversation. Try to answer them out loud before I reveal the correct answers. This will boost your speaking and listening skills. Repeat this exercise every day until you can say the answers quickly and confidently. Answer the questions out loud. Hey Mark, mom's been pretty busy lately. Do you think we should help her out with some household chores? Yeah, that's a good idea. What chores do you think we should do?
Did Mark and sister talk about helping their mother with household chores? Yes, they did. They talked about helping their mother with household chores. Well, I can clean up the living room and vacuum the carpet. You can help by sweeping the floors in the kitchen and dining area. Sounds fair. Who suggested cleaning up the living room? Sister suggested cleaning up the living room. Who suggested vacuuming the carpet? Sister suggested vacuuming the carpet. Who suggested sweeping the floors? Mark suggested sweeping the floors. What chores did sister suggest she would do? She suggested she would clean up the living room and vacuum the carpet. What chores did Mark agree to do? He agreed to sweep the floors in the kitchen and dining area. After that, we can wash the dishes together. Mom always appreciates it when the kitchen is clean. Who will wash the dishes? Mark and his sister. They will wash the dishes together. Absolutely, and don't forget to water the plants. They look a bit thirsty. What did sister mention about the plants? She mentioned that the plants looked a bit thirsty and needed watering. Did the sister request Mark to burn the plants? No, she didn't. She didn't request him to burn the plants. What will Mark do about the plants? He will water the plants. What did Mark agree to do regarding the plants? He agreed to water the plants. Got it. I'll take care of that. Oh, and we need to make the bed and change the sheets in our room too. Who suggested making the bed? Mark suggested making the bed. Who suggested changing the sheets? Mark suggested changing the sheets. Right, I'll do that. How about we split the other chores? I'll cook dinner tonight if you help me with cutting the vegetables. What did sister say she would do after making the bed and changing the sheets? She said she would cook dinner. Who suggested splitting the chores? Sister suggested splitting the chores. What did Mark say he would do after taking out the trash and feeding the cats? He said he would help with cutting the vegetables for dinner. Deal. I'll also take out the trash and feed the cat before dinner. Who suggested taking out the trash? Mark suggested taking out the trash. 
Did the sister suggest feeding the cat? No, she didn't. She didn't suggest feeding the cat. Who suggested feeding the cat? Mark suggested feeding the cat. Perfect. After dinner, I'll do the laundry and you can iron the clothes while watching TV. Who suggested cooking dinner? Sister suggested cooking dinner. What did sister say they should do after dinner? She said she would do the laundry and Mark could iron the clothes. Who suggested doing the laundry? Sister suggested doing the laundry. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and since it's fall, we should also rake the leaves in the backyard. Good thinking. We'll do that together tomorrow afternoon. What did Mark say they should do since it was fall? He said they should rake the leaves in the backyard. Who suggested raking the leaves? Mark suggested raking the leaves. When did sister suggest they should rake the leaves? She suggested they should rake the leaves tomorrow afternoon. Who suggested cutting the grass? No one suggested cutting the grass. Part 4. Shadowing Practice Lastly, we have the shadowing practice. Read your lines out loud after the speakers as they talk in the conversation. Focus on the rhythm and intonation of the English expressions and sentences. This exercise will sharpen your pronunciation and overall speaking abilities. Let's begin. Hey Mark, mom's been pretty busy lately. Do you think we should help her out with some household chores? Well, I can clean up the living room and vacuum the carpet. You can help by sweeping the floors in the kitchen and dining area. Absolutely, and don't forget to water the plants. They look a bit thirsty. Right, I'll do that. How about we split the other chores? I'll cook dinner tonight if you help me with cutting the vegetables. Perfect. After dinner, I'll do the laundry and you can iron the clothes while watching TV. Good thinking. We'll do that together tomorrow afternoon. Mom will be so happy to see everything done when she comes back from work. Couldn't agree more.
Let's get started and make mom proud. Yeah, that's a good idea. What chores do you think we should do? Sounds fair. After that, we can wash the dishes together. Mom always appreciates it when the kitchen is clean. Got it. I'll take care of that. Oh, and we need to make the bed and change the sheets in our room too. Deal. I'll also take out the trash and feed the cat before dinner. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and since it's fall, we should also rake the leaves in the backyard. Definitely. Teamwork makes the chores easier and faster. Let's do it. Great job on completing the English speaking practice. Keep watching this video every day for one week and repeat the exercises to see significant improvements in your English skills. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful content. Happy learning! Thanks for watching, guys! Now, I recommend you watch this great video too. It will help you to improve your English skills, and you will love it, I promise.